Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and I am playing Planet Side 2. And I initially tried this game out uh, when it was new, and I wasn't, I guess I wasn't impressed enough with it that I wanted to stick with it and play it. But after watching some videos online, I, uh, I took up interest again. So I reinstalled it, and I checked it out, and this is my footage. So this is pretty much the very first time I'm actually coming in to play outside of the tutorial. Fingers crossed. After trying out the different weapons in the tutorial, I think the weapon for me is probably the LMG. And mainly because I like the setup that I get uh, anti-tank or anti-air weapons with it. I think the thing that interests me the most about this game is probably what attracted a lot of people is just large-scale warfare. Thousands of people online at the same time battling over the same land masses. Three different factions will always make it more challenging because you're never going to be attacked on the same front. Well, we were under attack, but I don't really see anyone now, so I don't know whether my teammates took them all out or whether there's still a couple in here hiding. So I'm clearing out the building just to be safe. Make sure we don't uh, run off from here and all of a sudden it gets taken from us. That's what I'm talking about. I'm actually not sure how to join any type of, uh, squad yet or anything because I haven't <laughs> haven't actually had a chance to join one my kids have played quite a bit of this so they're here to give me pointers I think they're just excited to see me playing the attackers have been repelled all right looks like the last person that was over in this area has been killed because we just defended the area so nice Well, it's time to push the assault back on them. You know, this, this is an MMO. It's it's a very large multiplayer game with thousands of people. But so far, it doesn't really seem like I'm playing against thousands of people. Maybe I've just spawned in the wrong location. The maps in this game are huge. But I've seen some videos of of uh, some pretty intense battles. So that's what I'm looking forward to getting into. Eyes open and gotcha. So 
this is probably a mistake. I don't know if I should head over and try to attack this area. Uh, I don't really see any teammates. Oh, there's one. So let's do it. What's the worst thing that can happen? I die? That's probably going to happen a lot. Where's he coming from? Ah, he was stealthed out by a tree. I thought it was a plane for a minute. These maps are so large. It looks like there's battles all over the place. From what I've seen, some of the most effective strategies in this game or to divide up forces as long as everything is organized, especially your main forces communicating, and uh, strategically attack multiple objectives. That way it forces the enemy to be organized and to defend them. And if they can't organize, then uh, you'll definitely take them and win. Once I kind of get the hang of this, I'm going to uh, try to find a squad but I don't want to look like a complete noob at first with my squad mates and not even know what's going on. So I'm kind of running solo here for just a bit, trying to figure this out. Well, this is cool. I'm a gunner on an aircraft. Let's see if we can get some action here. Did he just eject me? <laughs> it's a transport in. Holy shit. I thought he just killed me. That's definitely badass. Shit, take the damage here. Damn it, picked off by the sniper.
That was friendly fire. The attackers have been repelled. And he's peeking out from the back of that mountain ridge line right there, and I can't see him enough to nail him. I don't want to waste ammo. There he is. I'm not even sure how far my range is going to be. Nice. Hit him. Got these enemy jets coming in. But I don't really have any anti air, I'm anti ground, anti tank type missiles, so it's a little harder to hit them in the air, they don't lock on. I definitely want them to be closer range if I'm gonna fire. This guy can take him out though. And that turret. Look at this guy. Up on top of the tower. Oh, it would have been so cool to have got a shot off and killed him. Uh-oh. That's not looking good. <laughs> I think I still managed to ride the beam down. Spotted. Now I gotta be more careful, he's gonna kill me. I don't have all the armor that tank does. Oh crap, there's this guy. Oh, damn it. Stay still. I think he sees me firing, he's moving every time I fire. He's too far out of range. Tank guy still there? No. Alert started. I thought this was an alert the whole time. Battle has been taking place. They must have got a point that uh, either behind us or maybe took out one of our generators. This has definitely been a battle back and forth, back and forth. 
I mean, they took our territory, and when I logged in, we've been trying to take it back. So far, we've been pretty successful at it, but uh, <laughs> they're not they're not giving it up with without a fight. That's for sure. <laughs> you like the rock to the face, dude. I don't think he was expecting that. I don't think that'll ever get old. <laughs> That's too fun. Oh shit, behind me. Nice. I think I had some help there, but I still got the kill, so... Feeling pretty good! No damn ammo. That sucks. Where's my resupply crate? Should be able to refill on a station if I can find one. Problem is, because I'm so new to the game, I'm not sure where I need to go. Here we are. Suck to have to run all the way back here. If there's a another station closer, I didn't know about it, so I apologize for the noobness. But it is my first day really playing this game, so you're gonna have to cut me some slack. Where'd he go? There you are. Gotcha. Those max suits look awesome. I want to get one of them. Yeah, they seem really overpowered, and, well, they are. But, uh, they're like a vehicle, basically. You, uh, once they're destroyed, you're pretty much, you're done. You don't get back in it. You don't respawn with it every time. You've got to earn up the points to purchase it, basically, just like you would a tank, or a truck, or a plane. The graphics in this game look pretty good, especially for being such a large-scale MMO. 
Um, I'm running dual 670s right now. And they're the, uh, I don't know, buffed up 670s. They've got four gigabytes of RAM each. But I'm running them in SLI, so I'm only actually utilizing the four gigs of RAM on them. Which is probably overkill for this game, but I seem to get pretty decent FPS. Everything's on max graphic settings. I do dip down below 60 occasionally. I really don't know what the support is like on this game for SLI. I don't know if it's helping me or not. I might actually do better to uh, run one card and run the other one dedicated to physics. Oh shit, enemy, enemy. Oh man, I just about killed myself with my own rocket. Nah, too close. I did all the work for him. All right. All right, guys, I have managed to join a squad at this point. We're still pressing the attack. I think we're pretty much kicking ass and taking names. And it's definitely a, a different experience with a squad. Definitely. It's a little bit more organized. Um, we get to travel to different locations that we're gonna actually attempt to assault and take together as a team which uh, is definitely a hell of a lot better than what I was doing the first half of my gameplay today just running around soloing trying to keep up with everyone I don't want to stand in the front of their shield too long because they can pop out and kill you <laughs> without really taking much damage Pop out, shoot, back in. And I can't break down their shield, which really sucks. But, you assault their generators, take out their power, then their base is ours. I'm waiting on my squad mates, I don't see them. I really don't want to move in and get killed right away. I think I might have went to the wrong side. Here we go, generator's down. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, damn it. I gotta stop doing that. Just about killed myself again. At least I got him though. I guarantee he wasn't expecting a rocket launcher as soon as he turned around. Uh oh. There's someone in that. I don't know if I have enough rounds to take it out. Where'd he go? He went back in it. Dead. Nice. I've been playing all day today. <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely improving. Getting some good kills. Some good, uh, good experience here. I am really impressed with this game so far. Hello? Definitely think I was a little hasty when I made my initial impression of it. Now I understand why my kids like playing it so much. It's a futuristic battlefield on a larger scale. And it's free to play, which is even better. Now I remember reading initially that uh, people were bitching about the weapons being like a pay to win situation but from what I've seen so far uh, the weapons you buy and stuff really aren't much of an upgrade 
you lose stats in other areas to gain them in different ones and everything's unlockable while you're playing the game. I, I really don't think this is a pay to progress or a pay to win. You can't buy planes and turn around and, and uh, launch them every time you die. You still have to earn the points up in game to actually uh, purchase one in game to launch. Now there are quite a bit of upgrades you can do to the vehicles which um, I'm sure is nice to uh, to get early but outside of that I don't really see anything that's going to turn the wave of battle here. This is definitely not a pay to win. I think they've done a really good job balancing this. Now initially when people were, were really complaining about the uh, business model you know maybe they had a legitimate complaint I, I can't really honestly say because I didn't play it back then I wish I would have but I didn't my initial impression was just that ah, the graphics don't look that good it just looks like a futuristic battlefield I didn't really get the whole gist of, uh, of what the game entailed and I didn't really give it much of a try I played it through the tutorial um, I guess I wasn't impressed enough initially, and I looked at it and I thought, nah, it's going to be too big, it's going to be too large, there's never going to be enough people to play, it's going to be one-sided, and I made all these judgmental decisions um, to not to play. So far, from what I've seen playing the game, it's anything but that. It's actually uh, pretty well balanced, and it's a lot of fun. The maps on this game are huge, and being an MMO supporting thousands of players at one time, it's amazing that this game runs so well. I think these maps are even larger than the Arma 3 maps that I play on. And although it may not look graphically as, as impressive as Arma 3, we got their generator down. Awesome. Um, you're still you're still looking at a game that supports thousands of people versus like maybe 60 on a map for Arma. So it's a pretty big difference. And for me, the larger scale your battles, the more people involved, the better the experiences. The more you can immerse yourself into, you know, a simulated combat experience. Awesome, we got it. The push was effective. Let's refill some ammo here. Generator, 
All right, moving on to the next point. It doesn't look very far away. I see everyone driving, but I think I'm just going to run right over the mountain ridge here. See if I can actually pick off anyone that's hiding off with AT trying to take out our vehicles. Hopefully the point isn't very far. It didn't look very far, but if it actually turns out to be a great distance, I'm going to split this video and uh, probably end it here. No, we're almost there. But I have to uh, send a thanks out to Sergeant Merrill. He has a YouTube page and a Twitch page. Check him out. Uh, his videos are actually what inspired me to come back in here and play this game. To give it a second shot because I had given up on it before I even gave it a chance. And after watching his videos, I had to come in here and try it out for myself because it just looks like an amazing game. And it is. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. guys are hiding behind their shield. Oh, popped out. Oh, man. They just suckered me in. Alright, well, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.